Good morning and welcome to the workshop in uh, Millbrook, Cornwall. Uh, I thought we'd just take a look at this windlass here on the bench. This uh, one is being shipped shortly, so um, I thought we'd just take the opportunity to take a look at it because I haven't uh, um, done a video with one of these uh, previously. This is a very popular windlass. Uh, number one is the, is the model. Um, and with one going to Australia now, uh, that basically puts one on at least one on every continent, um, which is a, a bit of a milestone for us. So this, um, as you can see, is a robust little windlass, it's quite compact, not particularly big, um, doesn't take up a great deal of space. One of the options with this is that the base is not a great deal wider than the housing here. Uh, it's uh, five inches um, from side to side, uh, and that just has one fore and aft um, bolting hole. Um, there's you know, various reasons why um, people might want to go with that particular option if they're really um, trying to, for example, there was one customer who bolted one of these to the top of his um, bowsprit. And uh, so it's a, a, a straightforward um, warping drum on, on this side, um, hand wheel operated brake and gypsy on this side over here. Uh, you've got the um, pole here, which disengages like that. And then you've got um, the, um, the brake, which obviously is, is operated using the hand wheel here. Um, we've got these handles. It comes with one of these handles as standard, one of these crank handles with this S profile on it. Um, there are different types of handles. Um, that's, you know, the, there's some various details on those options on the, on the website. So it comes with one of these as standard. And then if you're struggling in terms of, uh, you've got something the heavier that you want to lift or you're trying to pull an anchor out of the mud or whatever you can and you and you have crew critically you can get somebody else to operate on the other side and um, you know double up the uh, double up the the horsepower basically however if you buy yourself on the boat if you're single handing and you need to um, apply a um, uh, a bit more force uh, this device here gives you uh, double the or slightly more than double actually with this handle on here, uh, from the centre of here up to where you're holding onto the handle here, is slightly more than double the distance between the centre of these handles here and the centre of this um, rotating grip there. So basically, you can put that onto there and then operate the the windlass like that with this with this longer uh, ratchet handle extension. Um, I won't go through the operating procedure with this windlass, there's already a, um, a video online that we did uh, some years ago and uh, that, that was with the number two windlass um, and it's just exactly the same operating procedure in principle. There is one check that I didn't go into um, that you know a lot of people are aware of anyway but it's, it's, it's worth knowing if you are short-handed um, what you can do with one of these windlasses with the brake off and if you drag some chain out over the gypsy and um, uh, take the pin or uh, unlash the anchor and have the anchor, anchor um, hanging out through the bow roller and over the water, um, you can cleat off a, a line aft, take it over the top of the warping drum, a couple of turns on the warping drum, lead that all the way back to the cockpit, put some tension on it, then you can take the pole off and then basically from the cockpit by easing the tension on that line you can deploy the anchor so if you're sailing into an anchorage by yourself you can use that technique these are available as a powered windlass as well um, and basically the uh, drive shaft there's, so there's a motor and a um, gearbox below deck uh, and then a drive shaft comes up through the through the deck snugly against the housing and then into a, a small gearbox by the input shaft here where it's got a set of bevel gears that um, take the drive through to the uh, the pinion up here that's controlled with a, um, a dog clutch so basically you can engage or disengage that drive um, so um, you can use the man the, the the windlass manually so it's a fully functional manual windlass there's no obviously no kind of um, uh, uh, plan B to it in terms of its effectiveness it really is a, 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 a fully manual windlass but also with the benefit of power that's available 12 volts 20 24 volts um, and uh, uh, hydraulic as well if, if, if uh, the uh, 
customer so desires. So that about wraps it up really. Um, we're going to put this in the box now and uh, it'll be shipped later on today and uh, thank you for watching.